Hi guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of Guru's Top 10. This is a series where I choose 10 of a certain topic in Football Manager, and I give you a list of whatever it is it may be. So today it is teams. I've chosen 10 teams with the help of followers that are perhaps uncommon, um, but enjoyable saves at the same time. I chose 5 myself and 5 from followers, so... Let's see how this goes, and I hope you find this informative. So the first one I might start off with is the one I've chosen, which is probably the most obvious of any of them, would probably be Southampton in the Premier League. Now, I did a save with Southampton a while back and finished fourth in the Premiership in the second season. As you can see there, what really um, makes this an attractive save is the top youth facilities and the top youth programme they have at the club. Well, youth programme at the club, I mean, they've and nurtured such stars as um, Theo Walcott, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, they have currently on the books people like Luke Shaw um, and pros. So, of course, it's an attractive team. I mean, this is the transfer update, so you'll probably have one or two that you may not recognise, such as um, Rigard Foran, who's actually a top player. Um, people like uh, Ricky Lambert up there. There's those James Ward pros, a fantastic youth prospect at the club. Overall, just a very attractive team to do. Um, it should uh, last you for a long time, especially with the. I mean, you have great regen options at the club. The club's classified as rich in this update. I would 16th is a media prediction. I would uh, say that you are, have a great chance of avoiding relegation if you do Southampton. One I would definitely recommend you do. Now onto the next team would probably be would be Huddersfield. Um, there's nothing really about this save that makes it so attractive. It's just, it's just the overall. I mean, it just worked out in FM12. You had two fantastic players, in Smithy, Alex Smithy, the goalkeeper, and Jordan Rose up front, and together, they were very loyal players. Just wouldn't leave for anything, and then catapulted them up there in 30 so seasons. But um, right now you see the loan debt. It's a bit of a challenge this save. I tried at the start. I mean, this is to avoid relegation. If you can keep your core players at the team, like Alex Smithy's then you're flying, or you can, if you choose, sell them and try and build yourselves back up from perhaps League 1. Um, so that's basically what there is about this save. Um, a couple of good players, I mean, Jermaine Beckford on loan and James Vaughan on loan, and already you have two top strikers there. Uh, Sean Scanlon, another top player. Adam Clayton is a great prospect for the future. Oliver Norwood, was I've seen, sure you've seen in various FM videos. Um, overall, a very, very um, top save to do. It's just overall very enjoyable, um, so I hope you'll enjoy that. Um, just to look at the situation right now, secure finance in terms of finances. Um, so I would recommend you do that, and I hope you consider it. And if you do, tell me how you're doing, and uh, see if I can give you any tips. Uh, League One next, I will go for Crew Alexandra. Um, another top save in my opinion. It's a, similar to Southampton in the way that they have good youth facilities, but for a League One club, good youth facilities is just fantastic. Another loan debt, just to add to the overall challenge of it, media prediction 20th. This is the team that um, brought up uh, Nick Powell, who has since moved to Manchester United. Um, overall, there's another very solid save. Um, Max Clayton, another Clayton, um, very good player indeed. Matthias Pogba, which... I was actually unaware was related to Paul Pogba at Manchester United. You can see the resemblance there. I actually did not know that he had a brother or that his brother was playing for Crew, which I just found very, um, very, very uh, interesting. Um, so, yeah, overall, very good, interesting save. Just try and keep them in the division. And these youth players are, that they bring up are normally already up to standard for the league when they, when they come through. They've had some great players in the past, such as Neil Lennon at this club so it's definitely one to consider and um, next team was actually not chosen by me next team was chosen by one of my followers and it is Gillingham Gillingham meant to be tight budget interesting to do um, as you see there loan debt another interesting thing media prediction fourth basic youth facilities but of course fourth I mean it's kind of a, a cash money too do you aim for league then or do you aim for the just minimum playoffs um, Let's take a look, quick look at the squad here. Any players that stand out? Um, not particularly. A <laughs> uh, couple of lone players, as you can see. You're going to have to work around that in the second season. Um, that is that. As you can see, Steve Bruce played for Gillingham, so there's one to um, 
Just uh, try, and, try and get back to the glory days of Steve Bruce playing for Gillingham. Next team I will go for is also chosen by certain, uh, by one or two followers, which is Derby County. Now the first thing I think of when I think of Derby County is, of course, the wonder kid Will Hughes himself. Um, just solid, solid enough team. I mean, you have the white Heskey Connor Salmon up front there. Um, of course, I am not a fan. I am Irish. I do not like someone like him playing for our country. But regardless, you have the youngster here, Will Hughes, who's just overall a fantastic youth prospect, one of the best youth players in the game, if you can pick him up, although Derby do not sell easily. A um, couple of players, ex-Blackburn player Frank Fielding there in goal, and then, uh, of course, better take a look at the, how the finances are doing. Uh, okay. Um, how the finances are doing. Okay, loan debt there again, another challenge to try and break that loan debt. Media Biction 14, another another weird one, mid table. It's kinda hard to it's kinda hard to um position yourself in mid table. It's kinda it's neither one or the other. Because we will jet over to France. And this is one that I cannot praise highly enough. And it's in the it's in it's in League One and it's Stad Renault FC. And this team I just think is just absolutely fantastic when it comes to I mean look at that top training facilities, top U facilities, only break the seven, so it's not exactly a top team in France. Um finances are okay. What well, just really uh, attracts me to this save so much is just the regens. If you've seen some of the regens that come out of this team, it's just unreal. So if you do a save here, there's a potential that if you can just, you may not, not exactly survive the first season, but if you can just play through the first season and then you see the regens that come through this team, oh my good god, I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. And you could probably last a couple of seasons here just by, because uh, that, that kind of, that's kind of what drives you in this game. I mean, it's the, the thought of the regens that you're producing and and, and so on. So of course you have John McCoon here on loan, and a couple of other good players like Julian Ferre, and um, Erding up front. Overall, just fantastic. I better just take a quick look at the under nineteen team. Wesley Syed, of course, and um, link with Liverpool. Um, so it's overall very very interesting indeed. And um, so if in via, I think he's related to Jan and via, if I'm correct. Relation, not not um not a brother, but a relation indeed. Um. Okay, we'll just take a quick look at the overall aspect of the club. So as you can see there, okay, finances. Well, uh, overall, just a very solid club. And 7th place, great U facilities, one I would recommend highly. Next team I will go across to is Benfica in Portugal, if I can ever get it back to the score say menu. Portugal is the next one. And Benfica. There we go. So I'll be rich. Very rich indeed. Champions League football, second place. But, of course, I think the main challenge you would probably have to do in this would be to aim yourself for the Champions League knockout stages and to try and get as far as you can in this. I'm sure within a season or two you will be high placed to try and forget, win the Portuguese League. But you have, you have some great players here like Nicolas Gaetan. Rui Fond is a pretty solid player as well. A um, lot of loan out, loanies out of the club, not in so much, but... Overall, you have a couple of these players. I mean, Garay, Luceo. You have a, the foundations of a good team here. Um, so just to look over the information again on this as well. So you have Rich. Very cheap ticket prices for a top team in Europe. Um, season ticket prices are reasonably okay as well. Which is in the eye This team, Marie Costa. Sven Garn Eriksson is manager. That's, that's laughable. I'm not really. He's actually a pretty decent manager abroad. But regardless, Benfica definitely take a look at them if you're interested in a European team that will be competing at the start. Next team I will probably go for is Ajax. Now Ajax another team famed for their youth products. I mean we've seen so many players come from there over the years. They are also media prediction in the top two. They're first in the Dutch League Champions League football but look at the youth facilities look at the training facilities. It's hard to turn that down. They're also rich. Um, you just look at the squad here. I mean it's just overall just the, even the even the Dutch Dutch way of playing is just fantastic. I mean, you have seen the young there, Ryan Babel, Christian Eriksen. The names just jump out at you there. Christian Poulsen, not not so much. Um, the Liverpool flop himself. Toby Alderweireld, um, another great centre back. He kind of be like the the Vertonghen of this team. Um, so overall, yeah, this very solid team as well. Oozes class and just fan they are, if you can continue their tradition of just attacking football. Another player there I would really recommend Ricardo Kishna. I was tempted to put him in the list of ten players yesterday. Didn't quite make the cut, but definitely one to keep an eye on if you're interested in more Wonder Kids. Um, just a quick look over the information as well. Of course, the icons Wesley Schneider, Van der Vaart, famed of uh, products of this youth academy. 
and there are legends Burkamp and Baston Cruyff all the legends of the of the game um so yeah another one that if a bit like Benfica if you want a chance you want to be in Europe for the first season or two and you want to be competing straight away then that is one I definitely take a look at next we'll go over to Spain and I will start off with Getafe Getafe another um suggested save meant to be very enjoyable another loan debt another um challenge there to overcome adequate youth facilities so maybe try and push it up as soon as possible mid table in Spain I suppose the challenge of trying to set yourself in the first two seasons is to try and get yourself in the top six by the second season would be a good achievement. Just take a quick look at the squad. Any names that jump out there? Pedro Leon, I'm sure he's an ex Real Madrid player, or if he's not ex, he's certainly um, on loan there. Um, Pablo Alcacer, another top, top, top youth player. You need to take a look at him. You need to play him every game because he is just fantastic. Danny Goza, uh, Danny Goza, Spanish international in the past. So as you can see there, it's just very, very solid all together. Um, I'm quickly looking at the information of this team as well. And we'll see that, I mean, in the past, Fed personnel, Bernd Schuster as manager, very top manager altogether. Um, Lone debt, obviously I'll overcome that. Barcelona has this historic rival, so maybe to push that back up and be rivals of Barcelona once again, the challenge for honours in Spain. But not least, we have one of my selections, which I've chosen, which would be Atletico Bilbao. And as you see there, Rich... Uh, mini prediction top six they're in the Europa League loan debt 22.5 million what makes this to say very interesting indeed is the fact that you have to sign players from the Basque region now that makes everything much more complicated and much more challenging and much more interesting in having to do that and Fernando Llorente as you can see there is joining Juventus so you're going to have to compensate for his loss as well another challenge to overcome if you have the transfer update uh, so that is very interesting indeed one that would also be recommended so as you can see here, you have your, your technically rich, but with the loan debt. You're in the Europa League, so probably the challenge there would be to try and win the Europa League and try and compensate for the loss of Fernando Llorente. So that is the 10 teams I have chosen with the help of followers. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this informative in some way. If you want to see maybe perhaps a ten, another 10 list of teams or maybe perhaps um, 5 teams, 5 international teams, then that would be um, that's doable. But thank you very much for watching for the moment. All feedback to appreciate. Tell me if you're going to do these teams, uh, if you need any tips, want any advice or whatnot, then please tweet me. And yeah, feedback to appreciate. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you find my videos informative or enjoyable in any way. And bye.